I'm Julie. And I'm Martin. And we live full time on our 58 foot narrowboat home, Rhapsody in Blue. We're taking you along as we continuously cruise the canals and rivers of the UK with some beautiful scenery, occasional wildlife, landmarks, aqueducts and tunnels. Come with us. Morning. Morning. Well, we've been here at Bourneville, right opposite the Cadbury, um, Cadbury factory. So we, we get the odd waft of chocolate every now and then. Mm. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit unkept here as I've probably shown you in previous shots, but uh, we went for a yeah, little a walk. Shame. We had a nice takeaway last night, didn't we? Oh, that was lovely. Yeah, really and nice. uh, so we're going to head off that way and we're going towards, well, we're going to go to Gas Street Basin, aren't Gas we? Gas Street Basin, yeah. home or the historic centre, isn't it? Of yeah, Canals, that's Birmingham, so. yeah. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, and then we will be I'm going on to, to Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will be going on to Dudley, won't we? Yeah. So I think we're going up here, we're going to do our facilities, normal thing like boaters do, top up with water, yeah. and then go street basin. Yeah. Yee. We're going to go. Okay, see you on the journey. We're currently moored at Bourneville and this is where it is in the UK. On this journey, you'll see us heading north on the Worcestershire and Birmingham Canal and we head up through a short tunnel, Edgebaston Tunnel, until we get to services just before Gas Street, where we turn left and find a mooring. And we're off. Yeah, that's been a, a lovely mooring just there. And there's sort of a gate here as well, so nobody comes up, you get no footfall. Oops. You get no footfall whatsoever. The only downfall, I suppose, is that's how close you are to the railway but that's not bothered us at all not at all once you're inside and you've got your shut your your windows shut you don't really hear it so i'm using my pearson canal companion southport and black country ring birmingham canal navigations book and we are on page 70 and we are leaving here there's the cabris factory um, we're going to be going this way westerly across the page <coughs> we're going to be going along here all the way along and it carries on through to this page we're going to be going up here and into gas street basin so that's where we're going to hopefully more so yeah so we've had a couple of really nice days of uh, sunshine um, but unfortunately it's gone very dull today we've had rain overnight and it's quite cold so we're only going about four miles today so it's not going to be a long cruise this bridge look at that reflection wowza that's an impressive bridge isn't it ferns growing there, look. It's rather narrow through this bit. I think that's the railway over the top. Yes it is. And here comes a train on queue. Here 
here are the pigeons. In fact, look, you can see all the pigeons up here. <laughs> so this building here is the University of Birmingham. Look at that. That's a nice little place for people to come and sit, isn't it? By the water. Oh, and there's that train again. So those moorings there, I suppose you could moor right outside the university and pop to Sainsbury's. And so it's colourful walls again, getting very near to the city centre now. Yeah, I think the, uh, the next lot of footage is going to be a lot different to our usual footage. Not so much green scenery but uh, city, city buildings. But we've not been through a city before, so this is all new to us. Yeah, we're actually quite looking forward to, um, to going through the city. Hopefully um, there'll be lots, lots for me to film. I say it'll be different footage to usual. <laughs> Okay, we just had to pull over because uh, we had something round the prop. Unfortunately, I managed to get off and grab the rope, but I couldn't pull the boat in far enough for me to grab my camera. But there was actually nothing to see in the end. It was a child cycle tyre that was round the prop. And when Martin managed to cut it free under the water, it dropped off. So he never actually got to bringing it out to show us or anything so but we're on our way again so here we go let's hope that doesn't happen too many times this is pretty isn't it I love the little splashes of colour here and there it's quite pretty along here look at that you wouldn't think you were on the outskirts of a big city would you There's a sign for the university as well, University of Birmingham. That was Birmingham University. The one before must have been Lapworth University. But it definitely said University Birmingham on the side. Not quite as much reflection on this one, but even so, it's still pretty. So we are literally running alongside the railway line. And there you have it. It's quite a few trains, you know. It's quite a busy line. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to take over. Apparently. Happy? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. Got all exciting things ahead. Yeah, we've just um, had a, a couple of things confirmed for filming. So, it's I don't know if it's. <laughs> I'm excited or just nervous? Yeah, I think it's a bit of both. I mean, it's just um, have a proper film crew with us. Yeah, it's not going to be like us talking a lot. I mean, just us trying to be us. It's just us being us, up. really. Because it's just meant to be filming the general life of boaters, isn't it? Yeah. And I hope we come across like we've said, we're just normal people, aren't we? Just well, normal. we like to think we're normal. <laughs> 
<laughs> not quite sure about Martin. <laughs> You're never normal. I'll just do one, one sandwich <laughs> short of a full picnic basket. <laughs> Oh, it's exciting. Yeah. yeah, getting quite excited um, about going into um, into the city centre. Dash Street. Yeah, you got a little bit of your side. You're right. You're on my see. side. Yeah, can't yeah. Turn it down, yeah, yeah we've, we've just been making sure we've turned down the revs going under bridges because narrow gaps. And things. Yeah, it, it just tends to be well, well, bridges or anything like that is if you're going to get anything, it's, that's where it's going to collect. So but it's not just that people have a tendency to walk across a bridge and chuck their rubbish yeah. over. So that was a, just like a kiddies tyre, went it around, like one of those white tyres you see on little kiddies trikes. Um, yeah. It seems to be running back. No, Julie, Julie noticed it, it was vibrating at the front and then I just technically thought it was just another Langolan thing where I thought it was <laughs> just a flow. But it does because don't forget you're going to have a lot of flow at the top. We're at, we're at the summit, aren't we? Really, at the yeah. it's a bit of a summit. But no, there's um, the chemical spillage at Walsall. That's actually below us. So for it to actually come up yeah. to the canals that we're on, it would have to travel up locks, which is why they've closed the locks to stop any movement of water coming up onto the main the main line in Birmingham. Yeah. So. Fingers crossed we're okay, but it doesn't look good, does it? Um, not, for the wild know, not for the wildlife side no, of it. No, we're thinking, you know, sort of like, um, you know, the, the fish, the birds. It's it's terrible. I mean, they're even stopping people walking along the towpaths. They've closed the towpaths. What did they say? It was no, cyanide, something, what they call it? Um, was it potassium cyanide or something like, like that? that. Um, it's what they're using, like... Metal cleaning and stuff like that, metal work. So yeah, I mean, it's it's not looking good at all. Yeah, basically, you know, it's you, all the industry does back onto canals. That's what they were built for originally in the first place. So yeah, if there's going to be a spillage or something, normally it's going to be the canals that are going to suffer, aren't they? You don't tend to get that many by rivers, but obviously, no. when they built the canals, it was built with all the um, with all the industries in mind, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. If you'd like to know more on the chemical spillage, our friend Paul from Narrowboat Natterings on YouTube did a very informative video. I'll leave a link to the video in the description below. Oh, Judy, we're going to Gas Street. I know. We've never, I was saying in camera earlier, we've not, we've never actually um, been through a city. We went to Peterborough and I know Peterborough is a city, but that was on a river and we didn't really go, the city, the, uh, the uh, river. Yep, 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 The river doesn't actually go right in the middle of the city, does it? Do you know what I mean? It's all sort of on the outskirts. Now in so, English. <laughs> so, Should but this, that. we are actually going through the, the heart of the city. Yeah. That's that's the winding hole over there. Turning your boat round. This is bridge 84A. We are heading for bridge 88, which means that's where the services are. And me, or us, and Nikki want to get services before we go into Gas Street. Right the top, because you can see the other camera just looking at us. Nothing fancy, see? Just us amateur. <laughs> Do the horn in a minute because I can't see through that bend, round that bend. I knew one day she'd have to get her hands on the horn. Rude. I'll wait till the joggers have gone past so they don't want to frighten the life out of them. It's the only thing with our hooter, it's so loud. We haven't had a couple of people jump on, but we sit there like we come up to a bend. <laughs> we come up to a bend and then it's like. You see maybe a couple of lovely old ladies walking along just leisurely enjoying so we put the hooter on them and nearly end up in the canals don't they? Right, the life out of them don't we? It's I blind. really hope there's no boat coming. Oh, test of time. Right, I'm going to toilet, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Yeah, you're doing all right, aren't you? And you just said, well, I think you're going to be, I'm hoping you're going to be seeing Julie do a little bit more once in. Well, you want to do a bit more, don't you? Yeah. So I think once we've done Birmingham and things like that. Huh? Yeah, but it's Anakish. I need to do, I need, need to your have confidence. a confidence. No, you I need, need to, to have a go at doing locks because. I'd love you to do the locks. Sometimes the locks are hard work, especially when we do big, like, flights of locks. It, it, is, it does take its toll on me. <laughs> and honestly, I don't worry about the boat at all. No, but I've had I've had a couple of operations on my back. I've had an operation on one of my shoulders, and really, so yeah, working the locks is, you know, sometimes it's quite tough when there's a lot of them. Oh, do ya? Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't see. Can you? I'll go and to I'm... the front and I'll lead you to it. Should I? No. No. <laughs> Am I doing this road? Right? Well, it's going forward, isn't it? I know, but I've got to go round those overhanging trees. I am. And... Perfect, Julie. There you go. I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it. <laughs> no, it'd be nice then. I I, I, I'll be fair, I, I quite like doing that. I know you do, and I, don't, I like doing them, don't get me wrong, I like doing them, but when we've got like a long flight of locks, it's nice to swap sometimes halfway. it really takes its yeah, toll on Yeah, you can swap it, it halfway through, can't you? <coughs> yeah, that would be good. Sorry. <laughs> nice and narrow. Come out here, Julie, are you all right? Yeah, I'm just... Is that a boat? Is that a boat? Or is that somebody walking? Probably someone walking, it's not a boat. No, it's looking to the left there, it's a busty. If rain. he's over there, then he's in the wrong place with his boat. <laughs> I think it's quite wide actually. This is a right. tunnel. Edge Baston. This Edge Baston tunnel, would you believe? Do you want Julie. to film ahead, Martin? Judy is going to do. Oops. I haven't even got any nav lights on or anything, I've just got lights in it. Edge Bashton Tunnel. Have Julie's it. first tunnel. She's going to do it. <laughs> 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 uh, just coming out the other side. It's not a long tunnel, but it's still your first tunnel, all on your own. Yeah. Well done, Julie. One tunnel conquered. Yep. You're good, wouldn't it? If you know how to do them properly, they're not going to hide inside if you do long ones. <laughs> Just remember the trees are on that side, and that's where I'm I hanging know, I'm off. I'm trying to get over. You'll suddenly have the film, and there'll be this person hanging off a like, branch in a minute. Would you like to get yourself back into the back of the boat? No. Just let you have it. It's your time for the boat. And now we'll shut up. Here comes the train. Seems to be crabbing. I feel like I'm crabbing. Pardon? You got crabs? <laughs> Goodness oh, sake! It's because you're, you're not... So you're going to go in the trees? No, I don't want to be washed like in the trees. You're fine. I'll come back now. <laughs> I can't get over as soon as I get over. It could it be that it might be a bit shallow over there and it might be as you're like the washing and pushing you back down. Let's see where we are on the map. Let's see where we are. Just past that tunnel. <laughs> 
<laughs> Refunds are available. <laughs> Once we go under 88, the swing bridge. It's not. You crap bank. I don't know, it might be. Oh no, it's not. Once we go under bridge 88, immediately on our port side, which is our left, is services. Not much to moor along here, but the towpaths and walking along the canal is really nice. It's yeah. It's actually really nice along here. I'd like to point out if you're a light sleeper, it probably is not the best moorings with all the trains, but. We don't really hear it though, do we? Us. We don't hear much when we're asleep. <laughs> Apart from obviously, if um, someone comes near near the boat with the camera, it's such a loud alarm that goes off, isn't it? So we wouldn't miss anything outside, that's for sure. Just There's a boat coming. Are you alright? Well, it's really tight here, mate. Alright. Yeah, you do, do you want to take it? I'll take over. Yeah. Do you want to take it? I, I, love I, it just when it's tight. I just don't want to damage the boat. Sorry. And anyway, I did say I wanted to put the camera forward. Ouch, it really hurts my arm now, you know. Martin's doing a grand job, a lot better than I would. I'd be just in the tree. I would just be in these trees somewhere. <laughs> I will do it, but I need some practice. Look at all those buildings in the distance there. Look at these. Saying, look at the size of some of these buildings. They're huge, they're so tall. That's named Brindley's Chartered Accountants. That's quite aptly named. Brindley being so, so much part of the canals. That actually says Birmingham. Oh, yeah. That's 87. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise we were going a, going to be going between two walls. Look at this. So we're not quite sure exactly where the services are, but they should be the other side of this bridge on the left-hand side. So we're just, just going to see if that boat's actually on the services or if there's still room for us. Look at these big buildings, look. So we're all filled up with water from the water point which is there. We've just realised that Martin hasn't shut the uh, box so he's going to quickly do it now. Yep, that's it and it'll automatically lock. So that's it and now he's getting on and we can go. Yeah, Nikki's made the turn and now it's our turn. She's got thumbs up. Brilliant. Nicely done, Martin. So this is Gas Street Basin. It's just coming up here on the right hand side and we are going to moor up on the left hand side. Looks like we're going to be mooring here. We decided to have a little walk to see what was around. diners, eateries, we've got Legoland, Costa Coffee, yeah. and if you look closely you can see a Lego giraffe. 
It's beautiful here. All the new buildings. Yeah. And then you've got the old wharf buildings. So change of plan. We're going to move around a little bit. We've had a wander up and there's quite a few moorings so we're going to go and see if we can get something a little bit more open. How you doing? Great, how's your trip? Okay, really good. Good, good. We'll let you come through and then we'll go that way. Yeah, we're going that way. Oh, that couple watch us all the way from America and they said it inspired them to hire a boat and they're just doing two weeks. Fantastic. It's beautiful through here, really loving it. See that sign there, it says, Welcome to the heart of Britain's canal network. These bridges with all the flowers on, they're beautiful. So now this opens out and you can see the roundabout straight ahead. And we're going to go to the left of it. I think we're going to go up here on the left hand side. After the third boat along. So we're going to moor along here and if there may be room for Nikki too, if not, she will go that side. We then had a proper look around Birmingham city centre. Wow, there's some stunning buildings here. <laughs> Martin's trying to get out of shot, too late. <laughs> Bless you Martin. We were amazed at some of the buildings. I mean, look at this. This is the library. We also couldn't get over how clean it was. For a big city like Birmingham, well done. Absolutely spotless. Beautiful place. All around Birmingham, wherever you look, there's a good mix of historic and modern buildings. Here's a prime example of where you've got old buildings against new buildings. Look at that. And then there was this, the river, statue and fountains, locally nicknamed the floozy and the jacuzzi. But it was beautiful, definitely my favourite. But wait till you see it lit up at night. Wow. This mechanical ball, whose name is Ozzy, is in Birmingham New Street Station. He's quite an attraction. Oh, we are naughty. And here's a fun fact. 
did you know Birmingham, UK has more canals than Venice? And then as the sun goes down, Birmingham lights up. We've been keeping a secret. Some of you have already guessed, but we were approached by a TV production company on behalf of Channel 4 in the UK to do a narrowboat documentary series. And we accepted. So we're being filmed for the second series of Narrow Escapes, which should hopefully air next spring April time in the UK, April 2025, and we're hoping it's going to be available in other countries too. We've had a fun few weeks, which you'll see in the next few videos. Join us next time as we continue our journey. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps our little channel grow. Thank you so much for the super thanks and coffees this week. We really appreciate it. And don't forget to leave us a comment. We love reading them and I answer every single one. Look out for a couple of extra videos too. See you next time. Bye.